Hey YouTube, just thought I'd get on here and do a little quick update on a video that I did titled Weather Modification Recorded Complaints to Go Viral. Falls under one of those, uh, some of the best intentions of men and women. I got on the phone this morning and tried calling our officials here in the state of Idaho regarding the chemtrails. I made it as far as one call. That one call kind of summed it all up for me. I called the governor's office. I mean, why not? He's the one in charge of the state. He's in charge of everything. We voted him in because we felt him capable of this job for the people of the state of Idaho. I didn't get very far. I'm not allowed to talk to him without filling out an online form of request. So I couldn't talk to him. But I did talk to somebody in his office. When I started asking to speak to him, they asked me what it was in regard to. I politely informed them that I was a concerned citizen in the state of Idaho, a voter, and that I had a grievance regarding the chemtrails that were being sprayed above our heads. Chemtrails that I added consist of 49 toxic poisons among other things, falling on our heads. The person on the other end of the phone almost choked as they said, Oh, we cannot help you with that. You need to call Homeland Security. Without sounding too much a fool, and after gasping loudly, I said, Call who? Homeland Security, the polite voice replied. I said, wait a minute. If I have a concern about poisons being dropped or sprayed on me and my home, I can't talk to the governor about that. I need to speak with Homeland Security. All knowingly, the voice on the other end of the phone said, Yes. I politely dismissed myself from the phone and became, began choking and sputtering. My husband walked into the room. And after spewing all this information out to him, something in his voice, something in his mannerism, his way, calmed me down. I then said to myself, well, perhaps it's time I delve a little deeper into this. But do I want to call Homeland Security? I don't know. Am I being paranoid? I don't know. Homeland Security is a nasty word. I'm not liking it. I used to like it. I thought it was for the people. But I have to call them because I object to poisons being sprayed on me? What are they going to do when I call them? come knocking on my door? <coughs> I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm sitting back and thinking and I go, okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. But before I call them, I want more information. Maybe there's something here I can find on my own. 
I'm like that, you know. I have a lot of faith in myself. I believe I'm capable of doing grand things by way of research. I mean, let's face it, friends, at one time, I didn't believe there was anything wrong. I thought somebody was up there just painting pretty designs in my sky. Oh, look at that. They're getting ready to play tic-tac-toe. Well, they were. Other times I would giggle because somebody was up there making all these X's. X marks the spot, right? I didn't think there was anything wrong. But I woke up. I woke up. I saw a few videos on YouTube that made me say to myself, I wonder, I wonder if there could be more to this. Boy, is there. Anyway, I started researching and I'm going to continue doing research and this video is to inform everybody don't call your government. <laughs> it's not going to do any good unless you want to talk directly to Homeland Security. They are there to serve us and to answer our questions. Yeah. I found an article from the July 2006 Idaho Observer. 2006, July, Idaho Observer. GMO Trails, GAO Report Admits Chef. Lab Report Reveals Much More. The article reads, Last May, a family in Iowa contacted the office of Senator Tom Harkin, Democrat, Iowa. You might say, what's this got to do with Idaho? Trust me, I'll read on. To report the constant crisscrossing of chemtrails in the sky above their neighborhood, they received back from the senator's office a general accounting office GAO report on military chef and the material safety data sheet for aluminum coated fiberglass fibers being sprayed seven days a week for several hours each day in the skies above their home. The chef is spread by pilots learning how to mask planes or send false radar imaging. Did you catch that? The shaft is spread by pilots learning how to mask planes or send false radar images. Images, pardon me. It was reported that the military also has lead based chef lead based chef <laughs> but that it is not being used at this time chef was used by the military in Europe in World War II and according to the GAO had been used in training here at home since the 50s. Since the 50s. Sprayed here at home for training purposes since the 50s. Once shaft reaches the ground, it breaks down into particles small enough to inhale. Once the shaft reaches the ground, it breaks into particles small enough to inhale. 
though military spokesperson, pardon me, though military spokespeople, military spokespeople insist that Schaff is not harmful. The GAO report concluded that health effects are unknown and more studies are needed. More studies are needed. Health effects unknown. 2006. Military says, don't worry about it. Not harmful. Regardless, back to the article. I'm sorry. Regardless, go fly. Some members of his fam of this family in Iowa are very sick. On May 23rd, after a hard rain the day before, they noticed a glittering substance and pinkish colored powder substance on the roof of their house. They then noticed the glittering substance on many surfaces, even the dashboard of the family's car. Both substances were collected and sent to a lab for analysis. Now, friends, this is where you better sit down. What this has to do with masking planes or false radar, I don't get. I can't make the connection here. Among the substances found to be in the samples were several that should not be there. Are you ready? In the samples, they found six bacteria, including anthrax and pneumonia. Anthrax and pneumonia. Nine chemicals, including acetochlorine, acetochlorine chloride. Don't know what that is, but I'll look it up. It's A-C-E-T-Y-L-C-H-O-L-I-N-E -E chloride. 26 heavy metals including arsenic, gold, lead, mercury, silver, uranium, and zinc. 26 heavy metals, including arsenic. Arsenic is uh, used to mask planes and uh, give or send off false radar image. Four molds and fungi. Seven viruses. How come everybody's getting sick? Two cancers. Have you noticed cancer rates? Two vaccines, don't want to come in for your shot here. Two sedatives, sedatives, two sedatives, sedatives. What are sedatives? God, I just don't know what's, I don't think anything's going on, do you? Do you think anything's going on, honey? Ain't nothing going on. Nothing. Let's catch up on our sleep. Yeah, I'm tired. I think I'll go to two sedatives. Come on. I'm going to read that list again, and I'm not going to interrupt it. I'm sorry. This is bizarre. Among the substances found in the chemtrail deposits that had landed on these people, six bacteria, including anthrax and pneumonia, nine chemicals, including acetylcholine, acetylcholine, Chloride, 26 heavy metals including arsenic, gold, lead, mercury, silver, uranium, and zinc. Four molds, fungi, and fungi. Seven viruses, two cancers, two vaccines, two sedatives. This was in 2006, my friends. 
Over the last several months, the I.O. has received significant increase in chemtrail-related calls and letters. Most report a dramatic increase in chemtrail spraying activity in their areas. Some are reporting the development of chronic flu-like symptoms, chronic fatigue, and body aches that they have never before experienced. We intend to expound upon this subject in greater detail, hopefully next month. This was 2006, I remind you again. If you are seeing the relationship ex between accelerated chemtrail spraying in your area and symptoms among friends, family, and members of your community, begin writing it down and send the information to us by mail or email. Note times, date, and specific symptoms. If you live near a military installation, as expect that you are, in fact, being sprayed. If you live near a military installation, expect that you are being sprayed. You may want to contact your senator or rep, friends, and politely, that is how to get the information that you are seeking, is to be polite. Request the forwarding of any and all information that may be available on the military shaft being used in your area. After obtaining relevant documents from your rep or senator, consider using it to obtain epidemiological, epidemiological data from your local health department. I end that article. Little tiny article, but I'll tell you what, it's power packed. Somebody explained to me, I'm not the brightest light bulb in the room, but explain to me what anthrax, pneumonia, this chloride, arsenic, gold, lead, mer mercury, silver, uranium, zinc, aluminum, mold, molds and fungi, seven viruses, two cancers, wonder what kind of cancers, two vaccines, and two sedatives have to do with masking planes or sending false radar images. Well, friends, I found a lot of sites. Please, 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 we have a notice to Idaho that was sent out from California on StopSprayingCalifornia.com. Chemtrail alerts. Uh, they send out an SOS. Chemtrail alert in Idaho. Open letter to the people of Idaho. Please read SOS. California, all these other states. What I highly recommend, my friends, is we need to do a lot of research. There's an article in here, Are We the Experiment? You know, the things that that last little article, sedatives. You've been feeling yourself, everybody bogged down, everybody's not feeling chipper and uppity and got a lot of energy. Two vaccines, what vaccines? Vaccines for what? Two cancers. Perhaps if we go and we see the two, see two cancers that have the highest number of cases, the highest growth in numbers. I mean, after all, cancer is a multi-trillion dollar business. Follow the money trail. What cancers? Seven viruses. Seven viruses. 
All I can say, friends, is we need to do more research. We need to get to the bottom of this. Am I going to call our Idaho State uh, Homeland Security? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. Do I want to be put on the red list if I'm not already there? Do I trust these people? Do I? Aren't we now the terrorist? Aren't we being treated like terrorists and it's all over false BS? <coughs> Every bit is false. None of it's real. There's no reason for TSA and all this crap that's taken place. But we're on sedatives. We're on sedatives. We're accepting this. For you people that don't believe that this is going on, look up. It's that simple. Look up. Get alarmed. Do your research. We've got to do our own research on this, friends. Can't get any answers from our local governments that I can see. I won't be doing a video on any open recorded lines with my government. Not yet. Not yet. As promised, I was going to. But I was told to get a hold of Homeland Security, and I just don't know if I'm ready to do that. Perhaps it's okay. Maybe there's no problem at all. But I have to do a little more research. I love you all. I hope you guys have a great day. I do. You know, yeah, this is this is heavy stuff. Really heavy. But doggone it, our, our children are breathing this. Our children, our senior citizens. Remember, it's broken down into particles small enough to inhale. What has that got to do with blocking or masking planes and, oh gosh, I gotta go. I love you all. Love, hugs, and hope. There is hope. But we gotta quit taking these sedatives. Catch you later.